Hey everybody, welcome to this edition of Museum Minute. My name is Kurt Scosser, I am the curator of exhibits, and today on our Museum Minute, we are going to talk about the baby animals here at the museum. Now, not all of our animals were sought out and hunted on purpose to put on display. Some of them came to us by happenstance. And the baby behind us, the bison, is one of those animals. It came to us in 1954 from the Federal Game Refuge at Valentine. And it came to us because at five days old, its mother had abandoned it. And we don't know why he was abandoned, but we just know that he wasn't able to be revived, and so he passed away. And the skin was donated to us to mount and put on display. And now we'll move to another baby animal. All right, the second baby animal today is this fawn that's a little hard to see in the exhibit because it's nestled back in these trees and taller grass. But this fawn comes to us because a very unfortunate county employee was mowing the ditches and didn't see this baby fawn. The fawn had been hidden by its mother while she went off to get some food and the uh, county employee actually ran it over with his lawnmower, nearly cutting the poor fawn into two pieces. Well, this employee, for some reason, thought, hey, it'll be a great idea to head down to the museum. They can save its life. Needless to say, we are not vets, we're taxidermists, and we were not able to save the fawn's life. But we were able to take the fawn and mount it. So they mounted it laying down in the grass, and it's actually mounted in a way that it hides the fawn's missing back leg that they were not able to reattach. So that is the baby fawn in our white tail deer diorama. All right, so the last baby animal that I wanna to talk to you guys about today is Gary here. Gary is a baby muskox, and he comes to us from the state of Alaska. Now, Gary, wasn't ever killed intentionally. He was actually a stillborn calf. So we owe Gary's presence here to a woman named Iris Nunley. And you may have heard about her. Albert Brooking, our founder, hired Iris uh, while she was a student at Hastings College. And she painted many of the dioramas, backgrounds that you see here at the museum. Well, after Iris worked for us, she went to art school in New York. And then after that, she moved out to Alaska where she worked for the um, Anchorage Museum. And while she was at the Anchorage Museum, she heard that Gary here was stillborn at the Anchorage Zoo, and stillborn meaning that he was born dead. Well, Iris had known that we had an adult musk ox at the museum, and we were kind of looking to complete the group. So she wrote to our director at the time and convinced him to negotiate for Gary. And after about two months of negotiations, we traded some of our Inuit or Eskimo artifacts for Gary here. When Gary was born, they uh, froze him in dry ice. And when we purchased him, they packed him up in styrofoam and dry ice, and then they shipped him off to us. It cost about $55 at the time to send Gary here, which is about like $350 in today's cash. So kind of your pretty standard airfare. Now the real fun thing about Gary is he is actually half a Nebraskan and half an Alaskan all at the same time. And that's because when we were finished mounting Gary, we actually took his skeleton and sent it back to the Anchorage uh, Museum to be used as research. So he's in two places at the same time. Thank you very much for joining me for this Museum Minute. Remember again, for more online resources or educational uh, material, check out HastingsMuseum.org.